It's a rainy day at the little house, but we're going to put up the baseboard and cord around, and we are now looking at the second coat on the floor. came out gorgeous, and so uh, we had to move the material inside, so I'll take out one piece at a time, and then I'll, I'll cut it to size, and then Jane's going to nail it in place with the Pathlo Finish Nailer. So... That's where we are right now. We're about to get started. Okay, well, I've got the first piece cut for Jane. She's using a pastel finish nailer, and uh, I think she needs to go get <laughs> ear protection. <laughs> the baby's loud, as you can hear. So anyway, so she's going to do both her ends first. All right, she's going to do her, and then she's going to go to the middle, right in the middle, right there, and she's going to nail it. Cause it, you know, we kind of got a slight bow, and but the wall's bowed and the yeah, the wall, the yeah everything. So, all right, while she's doing that, I'm gonna take the second measure and go cut it while Jane's nailing this in, and I'm gonna go get her ear protection. This is the time when I have to angle the saw, which control by that knob right there, and I put it at a 45 because the material is too tall for me to come down because the motor right here hits it. So I've got my mark and I've got the angle that I need. I'm gonna bring the board up and cut it. Jane is now doing her caulking queen thing and we're into the quarter round. Just gonna go around. Unfortunately, we weren't really, well, the cost estimate again messed up, and we're not going to have enough, but I'll use all that we got. We'll make a measurement and go get more, but we're not going to have enough to finish the room today. Jane is the caulking queen. She has a motto that she goes by. There is no hole big enough that can't be, that can't be filled with caulking. So there she goes. All right, while she's in here doing her thing, I'm headed outside to work on the stud. So Jane's inside doing this caulking thing. She's a caulking queen. And I have made my measurement for the rough opening for that door. And I've marked where my jack studs go and where my king studs go. The long one like this is the king. And the short one that holds up the header that I will build is a king, oh, excuse me, it's a jack stud. So you got a king and a jack. Jack holds up the header, all right? So what I got to do is now make sure that this one that I just toenailed on the bottom is plumb, and then I'll nail it down up top. Whoop. All right, a bit of information is the Paslo framer and finish nailer and the other ones that Paslo make have that wonderful little hook that you spin around and it hooks on the side of my ladder so when I crawl up I can reach down and get it. Isn't that convenient? Well, on each side I've got the king stud which is on the left and the jack stud which is on the right and the header is going to sit on the jack stud. Now, I've done something I've never done before, but I, this jack stud wasn't quite long enough, so I added a piece. Now, I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna add the piece, then it needs to be at the bottom, because the weight of the roof follows along the king stud, and distributes the weight down to the ground. So if you're gonna have to put a piece, I recommend put it at the bottom like I have done right there. All right, Van's been working on the front wall where the that blue door is going to go. And if you look along the base of the stud wall, it's solid right now to keep the wall from wobbling. But what he's about to do is cut out this section right here so we can fit the door in. The van's getting ready to cut out. The now, 
what I can use with this piece that I cut out is the little crystal scuds that are going to go up there. So it's not wasted. So Jane did her caulking on the inside, and I did this on the outside. I put the two king studs, jack studs, the header, and I put the cripple up top. Now, I've got the door temporarily screwed in place. It's just temporarily screwed in place just to see what it looks like, how it's going to function. And then when the guys for the small group get here, they've actually got to put uh, the, the what is the boards up top, the double top, top, top plate, I'll get it out in a minute, the double top plate that holds the walls in place. So you got the top plate and the double top plate and the double top plate is designed to hold in place. Like I said, the door is just temporarily hanging there with some screws. And we're going to go ahead and get the dead bolt and the knob to have them placed because there's a screw right here that we have to release. And if we release it, the door should come flop around. But if we go ahead and get that dead bolt and the uh, you know, doorknob exterior doll at a, at a holding place. That's where we are today. Hey, this is the second bedroom. Today we got the baseboards and the quarter round put in and just need a little bit more quarter round on one wall and then we'll be finished. So now the tools are out of the kitchen and back into this room. But aren't the floors pretty? Yeah, that's done.